Cookie Butt. Hi, I'm Cookie Butt. <laughs> it's time for another episode of Cookie Butt's Story Time. Yay! <laughs> Today's story is called Bronco and the Belt. <laughs> Belt. One evening on break, Bronco and Pintail were lollygagging about various whatnot. Bronco and Pintail are cautiously friendly toward one another because they're both competing for the same job promotion. <laughs> At one point during their conversation, Miss Dilbertson, their supervisor, just happened to walk by right as Pintail dumped some of his beverage into his head and then let out a satisfying belch. <laughs> was embarrassed and thought Miss Dilberson was going to be angry and say that Pintail was icky. Ooh. Much to his surprise, though, Miss Dilberson chuckled until she stopped. Then she told Pintail what a great employee he is. <laughs> Bronco, not wanting to be outdone, tried to belch too, but he couldn't. After Miss Dilberson left the room, Bronco noticed that Pintail's beverage was a can of belching soda. <laughs> work that night, Bronco went and bought himself a whole case of Belchy soda. <laughs> he wanted to belch even better than Pintail uh. and impress Miss Dilberson. <laughs> Maybe she'd be so impressed that she'd give Bronco the promotion instead of Pintail. Bronco guzzled the frothy liquid all up. Then he went to bed, anticipating the power of belch brewing in his stomach. But when Bronco awoke the next day to get ready for work, he felt yucky. Ooh, yucky, yucky poo. He had an awful, nasty bad case of the Collywobbles. Well, he knew he just couldn't go into work with the Collywobbles, so he had to call off work. And that made Miss Dilberson really angry. As luck would have it, a really big job came in that day where the customer requested that only a horse or a duck, but preferably a horse, be allowed to work on it. Well, since Bronco wasn't there, the job naturally went to Pintail. The customer was so pleased with Pintail's work that Miss Dilberson went ahead and gave the promotion to Pintail for which he and Bronco had been competing. <laughs> The moral of the story is, one man's meat is another man's poison. <laughs> also, don't try to out-belch a duck. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's it for today, kids. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can find out whenever I upload a cool, fun new 